So we're moving all the data to Texas in America. Oh, China. Look at this poorly crafted Mimi we found with 10 likes that Mark Zuckerberg most definitely did not just make and send to us. As I was saying, no, does this app connect to Wi-Fi? face or voice data to identify our users. I find that hard to believe. I've watched a lot of congressional hearings and I think that that was one of the most hostile hearings I've ever seen. It's very rare, especially in the past, I don't know, five, six years for these hearings to be bipartisan. Several members called the witness by the wrong name. They used a different Asian last name that sounded similar. I know some people won't find issue with this, but when you understand that this whole thing has an underlying sentiment of xenophobia, I think that that should be mentioned. Almost every member of this committee just flat out called the witness a liar, which is interesting because as a committee, if none of you guys believe what this guy is saying, why even have him testify? They went as far as comparing Mr. Chu, the CEO of TikTok, to Putin. The verbal bullying tactics that they use in these hearings are not uncommon. They ask questions really fast and they don't give you a chance to answer. But this is also a man from Singapore, which, by the way, is a different country than China. It seems a lot of our representatives don't understand that. Being aggressively grilled in a language other than his native language. I have seen these kind of hearings with European business people who aren't native English speakers, who are fluent in English, but these reps usually give them a little bit extra time to hear the question and answer. So it is a little interesting to see that courtesy not being granted, especially again, just combined with all of the other xenophobia. I don't think it's a crazy requirement for our members of Congress to know that there is a difference between Singapore and China. To the United States of America be protected here. Uh, Congresswoman, I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us, we have not provided. But you know what, I, have I, asked find, that that, I find that actually preposterous. That granny ass wig you got on is preposterous, bitch. Why the hysteria and the panic and the targeting of TikTok? As we know, Republicans in particular have been sounding the alarm, creating a red scare around China. They've been doing it in a variety of ways when it comes to economic competition, when it comes to semiconductor manufacturing, and when it comes to technology. In terms of TikTok's behavior and its, and its risk to national security, it poses about the same threat that companies like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Twitter pose. So let's not marginalize and target TikTok. And my last point is this. I want to say this to all the teenagers out there and, and TikTok influencers who think we're just old and out of touch and don't know what we're talking about. Can you tell me right now, can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm? Can you tell me that? We do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. We do not. The, the, the How, only well, you, you don't? The, no. The only face data that you get that we collect is when you use the filters to have, say, sunglasses on your face. We need to know where your eyes are. And Why that, do you need it, to know what the eyes are and, if you're not seeing if they're dilated? And, and that data is stored on your local device and deleted after use if you use it for facial. Has TikTok at any time fed precise GPS information collected from U.S. users into algorithms? Oh, no, I'm having talk today to make inferences about users. Has TikTok at any time provided the Chinese government with either precise GSP information collected from U.S. users or inferences made from that data? That I can give you a straight no. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the... So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. <laughs> Oh.
Sir, are you aware that the sound a cartoon bomb makes is TikTok, which is the same name as your platform? My problem is that a child can look up anything inappropriate on TikTok. You can't do that anywhere else on the internet. I've tried. So what is, um, how does Wi-Fi get from the air to my phone? This is how the Chinese are going to spy on us. You know, not with the phones that we all have that they make there or the electronics that we all have that they make there through this one app out of the millions of apps that are also made in China. This app is so inappropriate. My daughter learned how to do a TikTok dance. And when I took her to our Little Miss Fungal Dungle pageant in South Carolina, she got the dances mixed up and lost. Is it like mini chlorians? Is it like that thing in Star Wars that gives them all the force? Is that what Wi-Fi is? TikTok is here to brainwash our kids of the liberal agenda through the slam tutorial videos. My daughter said her favorite creator it was gay. And she said she liked them. And they weren't like Ellen DeGeneres, Will and Grace, oh, it's okay on NBC gay. They were like really gay. Okay, full disclosure, I'm not even here as a congressman at this point. Um, I moved and I'm trying to set up the Wi-Fi in my house. Does anyone else find it borderline problematic that a room full of great-grandparents who discovered what the internet was in their late 50s are now representing their own personal interests in a tech hearing? Did you watch the congressional hearing today and think to yourself, huh, it seems like these people don't represent my personal interests at all? It feels like there's some tight nip I don't know what the word is, oligarchy of people who decide what to do or think based on how much money they receive from lobbyists? Does it at all bother you that the UN doesn't consider America a democracy? No, to them we are a failed democracy, a capitalist oligarchy. It bothers me, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write an email to my local representative and tell them my name and that I'm a member of their party. And that if they ban TikTok, I'm going to spend the next year campaigning for and fundraising for their opponent in the primary. I could tell them all about my life and how banning TikTok would affect me. However, as we just found out, they don't represent my personal interests, so that wouldn't work. In a capitalist oligarchy, there's only one language, and it's money. If you care about the TikTok ban, you're going to want to see this. This website is called Capital Trades. You can go down and click politicians, and you can enter the name of any of the politicians that you saw asking questions today and see what they invest in. Like... Dan Crenshaw. Representative Crenshaw was one of the more belligerent members today of the committee. But I think it's understandable when you see what he invests in, in Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, all companies that stand to benefit from this TikTok ban. I brought this up earlier in the week, but a lot of people didn't see it. But the thing that you have to realize is this TikTok ban really isn't a ban on TikTok. Here's a bill, links in my bio, but it actually seeks to give the government the ability to criminalize or ban pretty much anything or at least anything connected to the internet or is any kind of technology. Mark Warner, the senator who introduced this bill, is a tech sector venture capitalist investor. Looking through his disclosures, he invests in pretty much every sector that this bill would touch. He's not on TikTok, but he is other places where you can find him and let you know how you feel about his internet censorship bill. While you're on those other apps, maybe check out these people. These are just the house reps on this committee who have investment conflicts. There's a lot of them. Politicians really like their insider trading. I mean, it's hard to blame them. Rep Harshberger here disclosed four different buys of Meta stock earlier this year. Wouldn't you know, in that time, the stock price went up from 141, the price that she bought it up, and now it's 204. Rep Harshberger here saw a 44% return on that investment in less than three months. Again, it's easy to see why they really like insider trading. If you want another fun game, search the names of all the politicians who talked about protecting children today and their history on voting on gun reform. I just don't know that many schools that have had to lock down because of TikToks. As a conservative from the great state of Texas, I am deeply concerned because every time I use the Tic Tac application, I am served nothing but dancing, homosexuals, fluffers, and drag queens. And I'd like you to explain right now how algorithms work.